So here we are given a polynomial function and we'll try to find all the zeros of this polynomial function and the multiplicities of the zeros as well. So notice that this function is factorizable, easily factorizable by grouping. Not all polynomial functions are easy to factorize, but if you just look at the terms, the first two terms have x squared as a common factor, leaving an x plus uh, 9. And we can do the same thing in the next two terms. So if you kind of do uh, a part of that in your head, you can see that it can be factorized, at least there's potential. So let's try. So f of x. In the first two terms, I take x squared as a common factor, left with x plus 9. In the next two terms, negative 4 can be taken as a common factor, and I'm left with x plus 9. x plus 9 is a common factor between these two terms. We can factor x plus 9 out, and we're left with x squared minus 4. x squared minus 4 can be factored completely because it is a difference of squares. So it is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So that is easy. So that's x plus 2, x minus 2. So what we've done here is completely fact factored this expression. Now, why do we need to factor this expression? Because we are trying to solve the equation 0 equals x plus 9 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. In order to find the x-intercepts, we substitute y equals 0 and then solve for x. So you plug in y equals 0 and solve for x. And that gives us the x-intercept. So y is the same as f of x. We plug in 0 for that. And now, by the 0 product rule, x plus 9 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. So the factor x plus 9 gives us a 0, which is x equals negative 9. The factor x plus 2 gives us a 0, which is x equals negative 2. The factor x minus 2 gives us the 0, which is x plus 2. Now each of these factors is raised to the power of 1. So 1 is an odd number, and in each case it is 1, it is an odd number, so that tells us that the graph crosses the x-axis at each one of these points. So the multiplicity of x equals negative 9 is 1, the multiplicity of x equals negative 2 is 1, the multiplicity of x equals positive 2 is again 1. So they're all of odd multiplicity. So therefore, at each of these points, the graph crosses the x-axis. Now suppose we factored an expression, and this is what we got. x minus 2, x plus 3, let's say to the whole squared, and x minus 5 cubed. Now, this factor gives us a 0, which is x equals 2. This factor gives us a 0, which is x equals negative 3. This factor gives us a 0, which is x equals 5. Now, let's look at x equals 2. Its multiplicity is 1 because x minus 2, the factor, is raised to the power of 1. So the multiplicity 1 says it crosses the x-axis because that's odd. So odd multiplicity, the graph crosses the x-axis. Here it's even multiplicity. So the multiplicity of x equals negative 3 is 2, which is even. So the graph touches the x-axis and bounces off. It doesn't cross, it just touches. It could be this way or this way. It just touches the x-axis and bounces off. So the multiplicity is 2, which is even, so therefore it touches the x-axis. Now in this case, the multiplicity is 3. So at x equals 5, the graph crosses the x-axis because the multiplicity is odd, it crosses the x-axis.